Amen. Hallelujah. I'm glad you're joining me this beautiful Tuesday morning. Welcome, saints out there. God bless you. It's a joy to be able to just bring the word of God to you and also have that dialogue in the comment section. Hallelujah. So we got a beautiful word this morning that we're going to be getting to. And our word is coming out of Matthew 7 and 6. And we titled it, Cast in Your Pearls. Remember, everybody didn't receive Jesus. If you didn't receive Jesus, you didn't receive of the Holy Ghost, which is going to be teaching you, which is going to be unlocking scripture for you in the word, which is going to be giving you valuable pearls for you to go out and teach the willing, for you to go out and not allow people who just want to just use you and take the knowledge that you got and come back and rip you with it. That's why certain people, I won't even debate because they're really not even interested in learning. All they're willing to do is they want you to hear them and they want to take the knowledge that the Lord has given you and come back and try to rip you with it. Hallelujah. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Now, remember, this used to be a term described for the Gentiles, but the Gentiles now have, can receive salvation because Jesus came to his own and they received him not. So by them receiving, not receiving him, I should say, the salvation was extended. Amen. Now, if you're not born again in the Holy Ghost, you are considered the dog. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast your pearls before swine. So the pearls that we've been given from the Lord, we don't just cast those in front of people that are willing to tramp over them and come back and rend us. They're not one to learn. They're not one to do anything but argue. Amen. Lest they trample them under their feet, talking about your pearls, and turn again and rend you. So they want to turn again after they trample them under their feet and turn again with the same knowledge and valuable pearls that was given unto you from our Lord and try to rip you with it. Be careful. Amen. People that are willing to learn, study side by side. That's a beautiful thing. But when people are argumentative and they have the spirit of debate and just wanting to rip you in half and not willing to learn and build. Amen. That's another thing. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus.